Are you ready to get into this box with me of flower by Kenzo? Ah, ah, keep watching. Welcome back to Bougie Fragrance. I'm Don, photography guy. What's up? He's here like he is. Photography guy. All the time. Photography guy. Yes. Guys. Why aren't you next to me? Um, because I'm monitoring Pause, everything. Pause, please. No, not yet. Next video? All right, next video. Okay, next video. All I right. want you by me. All right, next video. Okay. All right. You promise? Yes. Okay. All right. Fragrance of the day, photography guy. Mine is uh, Hugo Boss or... Uh, orange. The, yeah, orange. That's Hugo the Boss one. Hugo Boss is orange. It's good. I forgot to bring his bottle down. I forgot to bring my bottle down. I'm wearing this. There you go. <laughs> so I couldn't bring my bottle down. Um, so let's talk about what this... First, let's talk about how I acquired this bottle. This was sent to me by a subscriber, Marjorie Greenberg. Yes. She's so sweet. Look at this bottle. I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused because it's... She wanted me to review this. Anyway, but let's get back to my confusion. This is Flower by Kenzo, but that's a poppy, right? That's a poppy. Okay, so my knowledge tells me from the whole time I've ever been born, poppy doesn't have a smell. It's a flower, it's a pretty flower, it's a beautiful flower, but it has no smell. So- Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, there is no smell, no, you didn't well. really. Well, see, I, we used to make these little poppy things for donations long time ago at the VFW. Long time ago when I was a little girl. A few years ago, just a couple. Just a couple years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little girl just a couple years ago. And we used to make these poppy things that people could put on their hats or they can pin on their lapel or at the time they were lapels. Now they're just collars or shirt buttons or whatever. And they were poppies and we actually used fresh poppies. And I would always comment that the flower is so pretty, but we would smell all of them trying to get to figure out what it was. There was something that just flew by my face. <laughs> trying to figure out what it smelled like and it really smelled like nothing. They have no smell. I cannot get a fragrance, a fragrance out of a poppy. I couldn't do it. I tried and tried and tried and tried. Maybe then my nose is broken, but to my knowledge, poppy has no smell. So maybe this is their rendition of what a poppy might smell like maybe i don't know so i did do a little bit of research and i found out that this came out in 2007. no i may be wrong we're gonna open the bottle look at that look at that so this did come out in it's a big bottle. 2000 and when it came out in 2000 it's a huge just watch me unbox this baby um, and it got it on frag. I cannot talk, photography guys. Fragrancenet.com. It got 3.27 out of five votes. Look how, look how it, it's huge. It's very, yes, it's a very it's large so bottle. It's so long. I do like the box. I do like that box though, with the poppy. All right, so. The one thing that really impressed me the most when I did my research, look, the box has crumbs, I guess. The one thing that impressed me the most is this won the Fifi Award twice. Wow, look at that thing. That thing is big. Look at that thing. I think my lid's on backwards. There we go. I put it on backwards. Okay, this thing is, it's just, it's a beast. I'm gonna wipe my fingerprints off of it. Cause like I said, I'm wearing it cause I wanted to actually be able to talk about this today. Ugh, I, unbelievable, I haven't unboxed this or purchased this before myself. But like I was saying, it, it won twice, two Fifi Awards. It won it in uh, two different years, 2001 and then again in 2005. Again in 2005. Can you believe this thing? This is so huge. I like the little curvature of the bottle. I'm sure you can pick up on that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very. Down. Does that help a little photography yeah, guy? Yeah, you can see the curve. You can see the curvature. Yeah. But look how tall it is. I'm telling you, the lid, 
is the size of a bottle of perfume, a small yeah. bottle of perfume. It really is. Unbelievable. But the fragrance. So let's talk about the accords. The main accords are floral, powdery, balsamic, rose, and vanilla. The top notes are black currant. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hawthorn, Bulgarian Rose, and Mandarin Orange. The mid notes are Apoponax, Jasmine, Parma Violet, and Rose. The base notes are Vanilla, White Musk, and Incense. So guess who joined LVMH in 1993? Kenzo. Oh, Kenzo wow. did. Very cool. Yes, Kenzo was a Japanese fashion house named Kenzo Takata, and he has 133 perfumes since 1978 and the newest one was made in 2020 so look at that <laughs> look how tall this bottle is i can't get over this i don't know how this would work i mean what am i gonna do here photography guy uh -oh. my tallest shelf is on the bottom this is just not gonna work for me it's just not gonna work for me however I'm gonna smell this. So when I first smelled this and I first sprayed this on, I thought, oh, it's powdery, it's powdery, it's powdery, it's powdery, it's beautiful. It is beautiful and powdery. But uh, the rose, it's the rose, but it's powdery and rosy and florally, but powdery. When you first smell it from back here, I can smell baby powder, straight up baby powder. Very clean, fresh baby powder. I'm close. I'm smelling the roses. <laughs> Let's smell the roses, photographic guy. <laughs> Stop wanna, and smell the roses. Do you want to get, exactly. But it's, that's a poppy. So I'm betting, I don't know. Poppy has no fragrance. Uh, look it up. I'm curious because I'm pretty sure poppy has no fragrance. It doesn't have a smell. It's not a fragrance. How many times, Photographic Guy, have I reviewed a fragrance and it had poppy in it? I don't remember one, yeah. There, why would you put something that has no smell in a perfume? Right. It has no poppy. So I don't really know why there's a poppy on there, but I do know, go back to the bottle, because it's just so gorgeous. I do know that the jasmine is a little poppy in there. I can smell Poppy as in it pops, not as in poppy. Jasmine pops for me. The rose, a violet. The musk I can pick up on. The vanilla as well. It's really a white musk. And the vanilla as well. Maybe it's the vanilla that helps it with the powdery. It smells so good. I can't believe since it won two Fifi Awards, which is one of the biggest, it's a big deal. Fifi Award is a big deal and it won it twice with just this fragrance. I can't believe I've never had a Kenzo fragrance on my shelf before because I love it. I really do love it. It probably, it, I wore it to work and it did get a few compliments. Mind you, it's not one of those punch you in your face fragrances. So without having one of those fragrances, it's hard for my coworkers to smell it through their masks. But I did still get a few compliments on it. Some people were able to smell it on me as I walked by them and they're like, oh, what is that? And I'm like, it's a flower by Kenzo. And they wanted more information like they always do. If they compliment it or comment on it, it's usually because they want to know what it is. I like it. I really do like it. I think this is a really good buy. Uh, the price is pretty, de pretty decent, pretty affordable. I don't know what this cost exactly what she paid for it. But I did look online and you can pick it up pretty affordably. It's not bad. You can pick it up on fragrancenet.com as well. So it's not a bad deal. It's not a bad deal at all, especially for what it smells like. So the lasting power. <sighs> I can't stop smelling it. So it smells that good. Definitely spring, summer. If you're into seasonal wearing, if you're a seasonal perfume wearer, seasonal right. fragrance wearer, it's definitely more spring summery. If if you would ask me what season would be best to be worn, I would say spring or summer. However, you know me. If it's mine, I bought it. I'm gonna wear it. If yep. it's mine, it was given to Absolutely. me. I'm gonna wear it. If I feel it's... like wearing something that I, you know, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm doing it. Right, photography right. guy. Especially like my fragrances, photography yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Only one. And that's, we don't, we're not even gonna talk about it. Everybody knows which fragrance. If you watch my channel, our channel, ooh, I just did that loud noise. If you watch our channel, then you know what he's wearing that's mine all the time. Yes. And I'm not happy about it. And we're gonna throw down photographing. Throw out. down time. Here we go. It we'll, is. We'll video. All right. <laughs> if anybody wants to knock him down while I kick him, you let me know. <laughs> Because we got to stand up for ourselves and keep what's ours. And he's not very... All right. Nobody wants to beat you up. I okay. Like. This does smell good. I like it. Lasting yeah. time. Did we ever say that? No, you did not. We. I've been trying. Yes. So I put it on before I went to work in the morning. And when I got home, it was still... It was closer setting to my skin, but I could still smell it pretty well. Oh, All I had to do was go, oh, it's still there. And I was able to smell it pretty, pretty well. When I took a shower, I could still smell it. It's, again, it's not one of those punch you in your face fragrances, but it is one that's, if you like a powdery fragrance, you, you'll love this. Powdery floral, you're in, you're in. It does smell good, I love it. Marjorie Greenberg, thank you so much for sending this to me so that I could review it. I found another fragrance that I do love, for sure. On that note, never leave your house naked, always rock your day with a fragrance don't forget to hit subscribe click the thumbs up please click that thumbs up hit that bell to be notified of each and every time we upload a new video and if that bell has a line through it unsubscribe resubscribe hit that bell again it'll work for you every time like a charm you don't want to miss our giveaways and you don't want to see what you don't you don't want to see what's next you don't want to miss what's next you want to see what's next, photography yeah, guy? There, I'm, I'm giving us our own plugs right there. Yes, you, you don't are. want to see what's next. Yes. <laughs> what's next, photography guy? Say goodbye. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye.